Hey you guys, so I wanted to go ahead and sit down and make this video and once again, we're in a new year, but of course I want to make some things very thoroughly clear moving forward. I want to just generally speak and address the audience and I, I already know that there is a good portion of you. I've said probably all the things that I'm about to say in this video in, in several videos before, but it's just, I'm just standing on business on it because I don't care how many times I have to say the same thing. I, I, I don't, it's just more content for me. It's just, <clears throat> I mean, there are other videos and things, of course I plan on uploading, but if this is what I have to do, this is what I have to do. And I do deem it very necessary. Um, in regards to all of my recent videos, I would say about um, anywhere between seven to eight months old or whatever. It's pretty much when I started redirecting my content. I kind of forget how long ago that was because it's already the end of February now in 2024. And I know that it's been about a year straight, just about a year. I would give myself a few more months, probably like May, June, uh, to when I really like, you know, steamrolled, like just bop, redirect, right? Like a hard pivot um, because I took down all of the videos of my activity and involvement of the previous reaction community that I was in because I'm never going back. Um, I have learned my lessons. I am like good riddance and I, there's nothing, um, that I deem of value, honestly, in that community, including that audience. Um, I want to completely just redirect. I don't care how long it takes me. I've been very content with operating as a smaller channel. It's actually something that I've always wanted. And if you've been here for a while, you've heard me say that. Um, and it's just been amazing to finally be in a position to not only operate as a smaller channel, but almost feel like a smaller creator again, and to just have a complete new start, right? And to finally just post whatever I wanna post, things I wanna talk about, and not have my channel be mucked up with BS and garbage and I've learned a lot of lessons, like I've said, like I see where I got overly involved. I see where I have been overly reactional. Um, people and things I should have hard ignored. I mean, I probably would have needed to do more than gray rock. I, I, I don't know, whatever. I did not. Um, I definitely have involved myself with some of the wrong people um, over time, uh, over years or whatever. And of course, learning out the hard way, right? And and a lot of lessons that I've learned, I had to learn them on my own. There was going to be no one or nothing else that was going to you know, steer me in the right direction. Sometimes you have to truly face yourself and your battles and circumstances like alone to not only regain focus of what you want and where you want to go, but where you went wrong and how you can correct it. And that is, that, that takes a lot of self work. That takes a lot of hard looking in the mirror. That takes a lot of, okay, what is wrong with me? Or what is it about me to where I, I attract these kind of people? First of all, um, these kind of people seem to be attracted or obsessed with me. Um, and how do we break that, right? So it's like, I've had to go through all these processes, um, you know, in addition to just, you know, living my life, you know, in Chicago and just really like, you know, enjoying, you know, my time, you know, back home finally, and just really like blossoming into who I've always been, right? And so that's why I'm so serious. I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how many times I have the same thing, but um, I don't know if it's obvious or not, but not only am I very serious about not ever going back to that previous reaction community that I was a part of because I think it's utter garbage. Um, I have thought about making, you know, big, you know, long video about, you know, all the things I know about it, but 
even that would be a waste of my time because when you're done with people and things or situations or whatever, you're done, right? So, so there's no need to even look back, right? There's no need to even reach back into the past and even try to bring any type of relevancy to it because you're done, done. Um, e even though I kind of would want to maybe educate people, but that community, that audience, and anybody who's attracted to that community and audience is not interested in education. They're just not, I mean, maybe they used to be about six, oh God, yeah, that's, that was about six, seven years ago. Maybe, maybe six, seven years ago, people were more interested in, in education and bettering themselves, but that's just not the type of community it is. Um, and, you know, where there is no growth, there's stagnancy. And not only is there stagnancy, but there's just a lot of ick. And yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Good riddance. Um, so yeah, no, I, I, I'm i not good, you know, make a long video, you know, talking about the, the depths of it, um, even if it would be for educational purpose, because it was just, it would just flop anyway, because people aren't, a lot of people just aren't interested in, in growing and bettering themselves as people, which I think is actually quite sad. Um, another thing that I am so serious about, and I'm not going to go into detail, I am not going to blast anyone on my channel I refuse to do any types of drama or um, whatever on my channel I will talk about topics here and there like how I mentioned the whole Shira spiritual whistleblower stuff like that and that's about as far as I will go I know that if you've you know been subscribed to me for a while I know I used to do receipts and all that I've outgrown all of that it's it's a it's a lack of interest and actually that's another thing too drama content attracts the wrong people um, and I'm just not interested in doing that either because that's just not where my focus is. And I don't want to, I don't, I, I, like I said, I don't want to muck up my channel and, and muddy it up with, with garbage when, when there's, you know, real conversations to be had and real things that I have interest in. Um, like the video that I recently posted about millennials, you know, being the last generation to really experience the world without, you know, heavily developed technology. And I love the conversation that that started on my channel. And I'm here for conversations. I'm here for growth. I'm here for development. I'm here for just always trying to be your best self and your better self. And honestly, like setting so many boundaries to where it doesn't even matter what people say or think or even feel about you because you said what you said, period. And that's that's what stands, right? So yeah, I'm not even interested in doing drama, but I will go ahead and make the stern, stern point and say that I am also not here for friends. When I've been mentioning off and on in previous content about how I am so done with parasocial relationships and I know that it, it's probably very hard for maybe some people in my audience, I don't know, to grasp that because I literally always started off my channel as an open book. I, I literally, I don't even think until literally recently, which is honestly insane, I don't want to misspeak, but I truly think that I have always been an open book, like literally ever since I started my channel in 2016, which for me is crazy to even think of because it's like, wow, like years of just opening myself up and being this open book for people. Granted, yes, I did wanna share some of my life stories with people. Um, I was looking to be heard. I was just looking to share my voice. And I was curious was, with some things I shared. I'm like, have other people gone through this? Because there were some things in my life that I, um, you know, have experienced where I'm just like, Am I the only one? Like, you know, when things can be, you know, that convoluted and, and that crazy, right? Like, it just feels like, whoa, what is this? And and at the time, that was nice, which is why some of those videos are still public on my channel because at the end of the day, they help shape this channel, right? And I, I don't have shame in them. Those videos did indeed serve their purpose. Um, and I grew from that, <laughs> right? However, I have learned the very hard way several times. I cannot even count on one hand how many times. And I know, you know, how ridiculous that sounds, but it's the truth because it's like, okay, well, how many times do you have to learn the same lesson? Um, 
you cannot be that open with everybody. And what I've realized and what I've learned over time is allowing the masses especially to have so much access to you is unhealthy, period. It's, it's just unhealthy, whether you're aware of it or whether you're unaware. I did not realize some of the things and some of the people and just, just some of the situations that I was opening myself up to, especially online, right? By, by simply being an open, honest person and being transparent and just being like, literally like word vomit all over the place, right? Like I did not realize how damaging that was and, or how damaging it could be or how that could even put my my people like like my loved ones in harm's way just because people are that sick and twisted all because they people have you know vendettas or whatever for me or an obsessive focus on me for whatever reason it is and it's just like you know after learning several lessons and after you know seeing what i've seen and knowing what i know now um i'm so straight I don't think that I could ever go back to that. In fact, it's like to, to think about how open I was, especially on this YouTube platform, to think about how open I was, it's it's like I, I literally cringe at myself. I, I literally like, it's like gross. I didn't know some of the things I was getting myself into, granted. So it's like, we can always forgive ourselves for literally being ignorant right I didn't realize um the depths of ill intent it doesn't matter how honest you are it doesn't matter how open you are there are people out here who have just pure ill intent and there are people who they aren't your friends um they don't have the best intentions for you in fact they actually don't care about you you could even have a sizable platform with a mm, overwhelmingly supportive audience. But at the end of the day, people do not know you as a person. They do not care about you as a person. And they most certainly do not have the ability to value you as a person. For the simple fact, they don't know you in real life. End of point blank. I am, these are my personal boundaries because I'm not going to, you know, spew this for everybody, you know, because I know that I like to have people take lessons from my videos. But this next part that I'm getting ready to say is also another personal boundary for me is I'm not interested in meeting anyone parasocially. I know, unfortunately, I have blurred the lines of internet and real life with, with, with a few people um, to where we were, you know, cordial, or whatever online. And then, you know, the person or the people came into my real life and, you know, we tried to be whatever. I can never, like I, I, everybody belongs in their place, right? Internet belongs on the internet. I don't need internet friends turning into my real life friends. You know what I mean? I, I don't need, I don't need to cross those lines, right? I don't need, <laughs> to bring anyone um, from online into my personal sphere because it, that, it's not the place for them. And blurring those lines and trying to extend that courtesy has been my detriment, a huge part of it, um, several times, s several times. And it's like, I understand what it's like to be the kind of person to where you want to see the best in people, right? And unfortunately, right? Like, especially if you are online and you don't have much experience or you know the dark depths of how dark and deep shit can get on, you know, these platforms, you're gonna go in probably ignorant. You're going to go in willy-nilly 
and you're gonna try to translate real life interactions, like how I would interact with like my friends and stuff in real life online and, and it simply does not translate and it never will because it's not the place for it. The internet is not the place to, to you know, thrive your with your friendships and your relationships and your interpersonal relationships in life like no human beings need in-person interaction for a reason um it's how we evolved it was the very basic shape of our social development um just as beings on this earth now for me that is a personal boundary of course i'm not saying you have to do that but if you are a person that's been burned several times on the internet, that is my reasoning for it. Um, it's because the, the, the two just don't mix. I understand that there are people out here who, you know, I, I mean, of course, we always hear about like eHarmony couples or whatever it is, who've had success stories. But just for me personally, I could never, I don't care how I meet a person or how it is online. I could never have it translate into my real life because I could never put that same amount of trust, energy, and care because I'm a person to where I value my friendships and my relationships. Um, and a lot of my real life friends that I have, I've had for years. I a lot of I grew up with a lot of them. Um, so I've had people who've known me even before I was, you know, ever a creator on any platform, let alone an adult right like because when you grow up with people like you go through the childhood phase you go through the teen phase you go through the college phase you go through the oh now we're new in the workforce you know trying to party and you know get our independence phase and then you just come into more of who you are right and I'm grateful for those and so I don't need to reach into my platform and try to like find friends I feel like even me giving people the opportunity to be my friend is a lot of where I've gone wrong. Um, as of right now and moving forward, I do not have any online friends, any. I do not care who you've seen me associate with in the past. I do not care who you may have heard me shout out numerous times on my channel. I do not care who you've seen me interact with online very publicly a lot. I don't have any online friends and I don't plan to. And I have made that decision for myself, not only for my own protection, but just because from a growth standpoint, it no longer serves me and it, and it does me more of a disservice. I have tried to communicate and demonstrate to individuals, hey, you know, I know it's hard to step away from certain things or whatever it is, but when you do, you'll be so grateful. And the thing about outgrowing friendships or situations or even communities, you could want the best for someone you could want the world for them you could want the absolute everything for them but if they don't want it for themselves it's never going to happen and where i truly draw the line is when i'm trying to come from a place of concern and maybe even worry or even hurt and i'm trying to express that certain actions and involvements and things are actually hurting me and when that's no longer heard and I'm brushed to the side and then, you know, you, you continue on to do the very things that I have told you that I dislike, I, I have to cut it. I, I have to cut it. There, there's, there, there's that one that it's like that now that now we're bordering disrespect and disregard and it's like, giving me more of a headache trying to figure out how to cope through. And I'm going to be very honest that when you grow as a person and when you outgrow people in certain situations and things, the energy is not worth it. It's not worth it. It's, it's, it's not worth sitting there trying to convince 
convey and and strain yourself to help a person or people see the light and and pull people away from just toxic shit that they don't really want to be done with and it's like if I can't it's like I I don't know what to do so you I, I have to cut it so I want to make that very clear because moving forward like I don't want I just, there's just, I just, I don't want any of that, that ick um, from the past or, or past situations, especially when it's like not relevant, right? And speaking of not relevant, you can go ahead and unpin me from your Twitters, thanks. Because I don't understand how, I don't understand how people can just hold on to the past and then constantly use the past as like a a weapon or or tool or something for their behavior in the present it's like okay you can just like move on you can just like let go you can just like literally do better things it's the freaking internet you know it's like you can close the internet out and go and take a walk or go out with friends or go hang out with your sweetie or like I don't know, like spend some time with fam or whatever it is, I get a job. <laughs> whatever it is, there's so many things to do out here, man. Like there's so much more in real life that's so much more enriching. You could read a book. I mean, but you can, you know, whatever. You can technically read books online too. So whatever, but you know what I mean? There's so much more in person, in real life, that's so much more fruitful, so much more rewarding than this, right? Like, I don't understand, I, I don't understand how um, it can be all consuming. I am aware of how I allow the internet and my platform and things to consume me for a while but despite me being an open book over the years and despite parasocial relationships and despite all that, I never let this completely consume me because I've always been a whole person outside of the internet. And that's another reason why I've always said that if you do not have an identity and if you do not know who you are and if you are not solid in yourself outside of whatever presence it is that you're, you're, you're having online, you're in for a really tough time. Now, of course, I've had to learn some hard lessons. I've had to grow. I've had to ask myself some hard questions and things like that, but I'm still a better person for it. I just could only imagine if this platform and all of that was my identity, right? Like I could only imagine if my entire identity relied on my online presence let alone you know the opinions of others it's like first of all we all know that audiences are fickle so you should never overly value someone's opinion more than your own because they're not in your shoes right and vice versa i'm not in those people's shoes i don't know what the hell is wrong with people right and i don't care about that you know there's just so there's just so much more right I just, I don't understand um, a lot um, when it comes to the behaviors of some folks on this platform. And that's why I have wanted nothing to do with it for about a straight year now. Um, there is nothing that's more rewarding to me than being back in Chicago and being in like an amazing relationship and being with my friends and and just building my life and growing more into the person that I feel like I've always I've always was and I've always meant to be and living life like that like you can't like you can't even pay me enough to 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 value that right like right like you can't pay me enough to to value that less than <laughs> the internet like right I just want to make it so clear that moving forward, like I'm having none of it. Um, I want to be able to make my content. 
I'm definitely looking forward to having conversations about some of the topics and things that I do talk about. And I'm looking very much forward to, you know, expanding and just seeing, you know, what else happens. But there's nothing that can serve me or benefit me from the past. There are no people from the past that can benefit me. Um, there's just nothing that I value more than, than moving forward and looking to the future because that's what life is all about, right? Um, and of course, I think I'm gonna like uh, make this video Looking like gonna pin it. You guys know when you go to someone's YouTube channel, right? And it's like uh, the video that you highlight or whatever for you know newcomers. I think I'm gonna just have this here because it's pretty much just like a standard guideline of of where I'm at and like what my boundaries are and just why I feel the way I feel. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, I I just I don't. Yeah, I just, I want to make my content and I want to go about my day and, you know, rinse and repeat pretty much. Um, I'm not interested in friends. I'm not interested in getting overly close with anyone. I have learned my lessons. Um, some I've learned very hard. Um, and like I said, I'm not gonna blast anyone. I'm not in the mood. Like This is not a drama channel. Um, I know I used to do drama tea and receipts and all that, but it's just like that type of content, like I said, really attracts and draws all the wrong kinds of people. And I just, you know, I'd rather slow and steady than, you know, fast and easy, you know, viewership or whatever, because you know, I'm being overly sensational about some mess. It's like, you know, no, <laughs> no, I, it's just, it's just not worth it. Um, and I don't want, you know, people who get excited, of course, like newcomers and stuff to get excited and come to my channel and think that, oh, well, I relate to her so much. So no, 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 no. It's like, stop putting all your weight into these online creators as well like stop putting so much stock into them because at the end of the day online creators are just human beings living their lives and we don't necessarily owe you anything the same way the audience doesn't owe us anything it's like just take what you see if you enjoy it good if not okay move on it's just I think people getting overly invested and overly attached and all this stuff that leads to being parasocial and just overly consumed is so unhealthy. It's so unhealthy. Please try to find better things to do to fill your time and to fill your void and to grow and better yourself as a person. You will thank yourself later. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, we are bordering around the time of a feature film and I didn't think that this video would be long, but everything that I said in this video needed to be said. I will break this down with timestamps because um, I tried to section off my topics and then just like generalize. So I'll do that um, shortly after the video is posted. It takes me about maybe no more than 30 minutes to, to do that once it's posted. So yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.